I know, I know. I'm sorry. It's just I got so busy with the move. Yep, yep. I'm uh, still unpacking. What are you so worried about? I'm coaching high school soccer. I think you're more nervous than me. All right, okay. Well, I will tell you all about it. If you're riding with me to school, we need to get going. I'm leaving in 15 minutes. You want me to text you the reply, or...? I'm sensing a little hostility this morning. You know, I just don't understand why we had to leave New York. If you really want to talk about this right now... We don't talk about it at all. Not when you took me in, not when we moved here. I mean, you're treating me like I'm a child. I know everything that you've been through. Okay? You know, I won't lose it if you want to talk about mom or dad. I don't need to talk about it. Dad was your brother. I think the best thing for us to do is just keep going forward. Okay, we moved here so we could start fresh, right? Yeah. Besides, you have other things you need to be worrying about right now. Who's worried? You don't think I'll make the cut? Of course you'll make the cut. How about I come to school this afternoon? What, like pick me up after tryouts? I'd like to show you moral support. You're not gonna yell from the stands or anything, are you? Yeah, I was thinking about uh, bringing a big megaphone and wearing one of those big foam hats. Aunt Kelly. <laughs> I promise I won't embarrass you. I just wanna come see my niece in action, that's all. Ugh, damn, okay, you have 10 minutes to get ready, then we have to split. One condition? That phone can't come to tryouts. Fine. It'll keep me hands free to do the wave when you make a goal. Woo! Stop. Amber, woo -hoo! You're the new coach, right? The soccer player? Yep, that's right. It's me, uh, Coach Dominic. Dominic on tall. I know. <laughs> I used to watch you all the time when you played for the Dragons. You're one of the reasons I got into soccer. Wow, really? You're great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You had to quit because of some kind of injury, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. Something like that. I'm Madeline Sawyer. Oh, my friends call me Maddie. Oh, I like that. It's very regal. Lady Madeline. Well, now I really want to make the team. <laughs> you're, uh, you're trying out today? The yeah, girls team? that's the plan. I, you know, I'm a little rusty, oh. though. Oh, it's like you're not giving yourself enough credit. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'll tell you what. Uh, if you do make the team, you should come out to my clinic in the park on Saturdays. 
Oh, I thought that was just for the boys' team. I can always make an exception. For a Dragons fan. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, that is the late bell. So I've got to get to class. All right. Um, um, I will see you at tryouts. Yes. Uh, wish me luck. Good luck. Thank you. It'll be great. Bye. So the investor meeting went well, huh? You gave him the hard sell too soon. Also, don't ever ask the crowd, do I look like a moron? They're gonna say yes. I don't have time for finesse or bleeding cash. Wait, I thought the Saturn Bank Investments was a sure thing. Well, hopefully. What? Maybe. If we get them on board, it'll be a $5 million runway. If we don't, I may have to go out on the streets and start dancing for quarters and stock options. Great. I think what you need to do is to define what we do a little bit better. Is digital art haven a social media site? Is it a user content driven art site? It's both. It's a social media site for artists to connect and display their work. Hmm. Plus they get a piece of the ad revenue for site traffic. Hmm. Why am I explaining this to you? We're partners. Exactly. But when we form this little partnership, you said that you will be in charge of finances. I will be in charge of programming the site. Isn't that the reason why you moved all the way out here? So that you could talk to the investors in person, help me run things hands-on? Can we switch places? <laughs> no. Shot. Thanks. You new here? Uh, yeah, I just moved here a couple weeks ago. I'm Madeline Sawyer. Call me Maddie. Amber Halligan. Nice to meet you. Did anyone come to watch you play? Uh, yeah, my aunt. She's spread right over there. You guys should uh definitely come to my apartment for some coffee sometime. Your apartment? Mm -hmm. How old are you? I just turned 18. <laughs> Lucky you. I've been emancipated for uh, a little while now. I reiterate, lucky you. That wasn't really my choice. My parents died a couple years ago, and I didn't have any close relatives to live with, so here I am. My parents died too. It was a car crash a few months ago. That's why I'm with my aunt now. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, unfortunately, it looks like we have a lot in common. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you live by yourself, what's that like? It's the only way to fly. I bet. <laughs> You need a roommate? No. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we should definitely hang out sometime. I, uh, I'll show you the town, introduce you to a few people. Maybe we could party a little bit. I'd love that. Ah, cool. Mm. Okay, ladies! For those of you that don't know me, I'm Coach Hendricks. For those of you that do know me, you know, I expect you to follow my instructions. So, line up for your evaluations. Amber. Hey. Hey. Can you hear me? Yes, I heard you. What's wrong? I thought you were great out there. You're embarrassing me. I'm sorry. And I didn't do great. I missed three goals out of five. Well, it looked great to me. Well, what do you know about soccer? I know enough to know that you were great. A lot better than some of those girls out there. Look, I don't think I made the cut. Okay. Let me track down one of the coaches. I'll find out. Oh, no, no, no. Aunt Kelly, Aunt Kelly, no.
Uh, you're not supposed to be in here. Yeah, I tried to get your attention out on the field. I take it your daughter just tried out for the girls' team? Niece, actually. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. You're the school's gym coach? I'm the soccer coach. Uh, coach Hendricks is a regular gym coach. Uh. How can I help you? Well, my niece is Amber Halligan. I was hoping you could tell me whether or not she made it. Uh, well, we probably won't have postings up for another week. A week? Really? <sighs> I'm gonna level with you. We just moved here from New York. She's been through a lot. She's having trouble making friends. She loves soccer. She needs this. Yeah, believe me, ma'am. I... No, at least Miss Halligan. My name's Kelly. I'm not that formal. Okay, believe me, Miss Halligan. If I could tell you who made the team, I would. You like coffee? I'll buy you one in exchange wow. for an answer. Wow. Whole coffee, huh? Venti. Ooh. I'll even add an extra shot of espresso. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, I, I, if I could, I would. Right. All right. The best I can do is I can tell you whether it looks like she might make the team. All right? Okay. And I shouldn't even be doing that, so it's our little secret, okay? My lips are sealed. Good. Amber Halligan, right? Mm-hmm. Here we go. And? Looks good. Uh, she scored pretty high in everything but goals. <sighs> Is that going to be a problem? Well, it looks like she'll make the team, but, you know, she definitely needs to work on her accuracy. Oh, poor thing. She practices every day for hours. <laughs> Coach, I'm so sorry about this. You must be Amber. <sighs> Look, I apologize in advance for anything my aunt might have said. No, <laughs> really, it's fine, really. Yeah, I was just telling her about your prospects of making the team, which looked pretty good. You have a lot of uh, natural talent, especially with blocking. You just need a, a little extra practice on your accuracy. We can do that. Hey, Kelly. Well, you know, I tell you what. I um, I run a soccer clinic in the park on Saturdays. I mean, right now it's just for my boys' team, but I just took on a player from the girls' team. Rates are reasonable. We'll make it work. It's up to you. What do you think? Do you really think it'll help? If your game doesn't improve in six weeks, and I mean improve dramatically, Give me a full refund. Or you'll owe me a coffee. I believe you already owe me a coffee, Miss Halligan. I'm better off not knowing. I got those ice cream cones you like. I can't believe you acted like that today. What do you mean? Oh, Dominic, we should go out for coffee sometime. I'm an actual teenager, and you acted more like a teenager than I do around cute boys. It was embarrassing. So... That's his name? Dominic? You're paying him to coach me, and you don't even know his name? I thought I'd bring it up in a casual way. You know, like when I wrote him a check or something. You're hopeless. <laughs> yes, his name is Dominic. Dominic Antal, but everyone calls him Coach Dominic. And he's new here, right? Yeah, what's with all the bizarre... No. No way. You're gonna ask him out, really? Come on, Amber. I can't deal with this right now. You know, you keep reminding me how you're almost an adult and how I'm supposed to treat you like a grown-up, and here you are, acting like a child. What do you want me to do? Sit here and hear about how you have a thing for Coach Dominic? I don't have a thing for anybody. Where is this coming from? Like you care. I do care. I'm your aunt. Soccer is something I do for me. I used to do it with Mom and Dad. I'm trying. 
I came to support you today. Stop trying. I didn't even want you to come. Coach hey. Dominic. Hello again, Madeline. Hi. <laughs> Been waiting out here for hours. Wow, Diggy, you're uh, pretty excited to start your training. Yeah, it's going to be a little weird, though, being the only girl here. Oh, uh, actually, it looks like you won't be. Amber Halligan also joined the clinic. Hmm. Great. Hey, I was wondering, could I get your phone number? I just want to make sure that I can contact you if I'm going to be late or something. Yeah, sure. Great. Just appreciate it to stay between us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, believe me, I am great at keeping secrets. Here. Thanks. It's the other. Yeah. Hi, Coach. Oh. Hey there, Amber. Thanks. Glad you could make it. Aunt Kelly sends her regards. Ah, oh, right. Thanks. Thanks. Great. Well, why don't you uh, go out there and get stretched out before we start? It'll be a pretty crazy day. Can we? Looks like we both made the team. Oh, no thanks to my aunt. She practically tackled Coach Dominic in his office and forced him to tell her whether or not I made the team. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm pretty sure she has a crush on him or something. Afternoon, ladies. Oh, my God. You just moved here, right? I've seen you around school. Beat it. Riley, whatever you're selling, we're not buying it. I just wanted to introduce myself to your new friend here. Mm-hmm. Hi. I'm Riley Jones, team manager. Amber. Uh, hold on. What? Team manager? Who the hell gave you that kind of responsibility? What can I say? I guess Coach Dominic knows real talent when he sees it. He even asked <laughs> me to help out with the soccer clinic on the weekends. Next week, I start helping out with the team during practice. Oh, there goes our winning streak. <laughs> That's cold, Maddie. Oh, you're still here. <laughs> hmm. See you around, Amber. Uh, nice meeting you. <sighs> He's pretty cute. Yeah, he asked me out once. You went out with him? <laughs> no, I'm into men, not boys. All right, looks like everyone's here. Let's line up, arms length apart, start some drills. That's more my type. Isn't he a little old? I'm 18. You know what that means, right? It's all legal. Besides, when you're in love, age doesn't really make a difference. Okay. <laughs> hey, Coach, where's freshman orientation? Oh, it's just uh, right down the hall. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> hey there, Coach. Just uh, heading out to lunch. Gonna run some errands. You said first thing Monday morning, and here we are. 
Right. Here we are. You know, I told the school board it was a bad idea hiring some hot shot soccer coach, right? I had everything covered just fine on my own. What are you talking about? You can't use your position here to make money on the side. How am I using my position here? You think you can just stroll in here with your FIFA trophy and take over this place? Think again. I know you're running some soccer clinic or whatever on the weekends. It's a clear conflict of interest, you being a faculty member. It's not like I'm using school equipment or, or school property, and the school even knows about it. I, I have a permit from the city to use the you park. You are conning these kids and their parents out I'm of I'm not money. conning anyone. I'm improving their game. It's no different than any other tutor. Oh, right. Tutor. I hear you're tutoring two of my female players now. So? I'm putting in a recommendation that they kill your contract after this year. Yeah. I bet you like all these little girls and their mothers chasing after you like some fan club. Do you think that's appropriate behavior for a high school teacher? Yeah, where it gets around. I have no idea what you're talking about. You got some kind of personal problem with me? <laughs> well, you know what? You might fool some of these local school board jagoffs with that aw oh, shucks routine, but you do not fool me. We done? We're done. Watch yourself. Knock, knock, knock. Gibson, unless you're here to tell me the building's on fire, I'm going to pretend like you're in your office helping me fix this header code. How'd the soccer thing go? Not as great as this morning. Hmm. We got into a huge fight, and she hasn't spoken to me since. You know, I gave her this big chunk of money for the soccer clinic to help her out, and then when I drop her off for practice, she acts like I'm sending her off to military school. I give up. This uh, soccer clinic, it wouldn't happen to be run by a handsome-sounding gentleman by the name of... Coach Dominic? How did you know that? He's on line one. Something about you writing him a check on a closed bank account from New York. Oh, damn it. I must have used my old checkbook. Hmm. You know, you could have led with him being on the phone. See if he runs a dating clinic. We're not dating. <laughs> I talked to the guy one time. <laughs> this is Kelly Halligan. I'll let you have your privacy. Hey, Coach. Hey. Hello again, Miss Halligan. Kelly, please. I'm so sorry about the mix-up with the checks. I thought I threw out my old checkbook a long time ago. Uh, no, it's no problem at all. I just was depositing checks on my way to work this morning and bank flagged that one. Well, this is from the right account, I promise. Well, thank you, but like I said on the phone, you could have just uh, mailed me a new one. Well, this is faster. It's the least I could do after the trouble I caused. No trouble. You know, I, um... I was just on my way out to lunch, and I've been wanting to try this new spot. If you want to join me. I might be able to sneak away. I promise I won't keep you too long. Hey, I'm the boss. It's fine. All right. Hi, Coach Hendricks. Do you mind if I talk to you real quick? I mean, 
It'll only take a minute, I promise. Mm. Okay. Have a seat. How can I help you, Miss Sawyer? Well, it's more about how you can help Coach Dominic. Oh, okay. I think you should stop threatening him. <laughs> Excuse me? Back the hell off. <laughs> First of all, you need to change your tone, young lady. And second of all, 18 or no, you're a student here. I think it's kind of improper for you to be mixed up in this, don't you? How... How is it improper? He is a great coach. Everybody likes him. Great coach, my ass. It's bad enough that the school is letting him run his soccer clinic on the weekends here. I don't care if he used to be a professional player or not. Now, you get back to class and stop causing trouble or I will suspend you. Fine. Close the door on the way out. I hate children. something, bitch. Hey. Jeez, you scared the hell out of me. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. We really didn't get a chance to talk last weekend. I guess we didn't. I kind of wanted to pick things up where we left off. Your timing's really lousy, you know that? Come on. Okay. You have 30 seconds. Okay, well, like I said, I just I wanted to talk. You play soccer, I play soccer. Is that really the best you got? Can I start over? <laughs> I'm not so bad once you get to know me. Okay, why not? I'm a sucker for a hard luck case. Actually, I, I wanted to talk to you about something important. Maddie. Maddie. Yeah. How well do you know her? I met both of you at the same time. You guys seem like you were pretty chummy. It's called making friends, which is what I thought you were trying to do here. Did she mention that she lost both of her parents in a house fire a couple of years ago? Yeah, she did. That's messed up, right? Last year I went on a couple of dates with her. Total head case. I heard differently. I heard you asked her at once and she said no. Wait, what? She said that. No, we actually went out. What, she dumped you? Kind of. I don't know, it was weird. I think both her parents died and really did a number on her. Both my parents died too. You think it did a number on me? God, I'm... I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to... No, it's fine. What do you mean it was weird? Well, I can't say for sure. But I think she's got a crush on Coach Dominic. So? So, I mean, she starts going to a soccer clinic, and she's the only girl there, except for you. Are you serious? Believe me, I have zero interest in Coach Dominic. If she wants him, she can have him. Are you just being nice to me to get back at Maddie? No. No. It took me like a week to work up the nerve just to talk to you. So then why are you wasting it by talking about her? You don't believe me? Nobody else believes me either. Look, I know I can get on people's nerves sometimes. Okay, a lot of the time. But I'm telling you, there's something seriously wrong with her. Just watch yourself, okay? Thanks for the advice. And now I'm officially late for English. If I got proof... Would, would you believe me then? What do you mean, proof? 
Never mind. <laughs> Look, next time, if you want to ask me out, just ask me out. Wait. You want to go out? I said next time. This is a cute little place. I've seen it a few times. I always wanted to try it. Can't remember the last time somebody bought me lunch. Oh, <laughs> find that hard to believe. It's true. I'm more or less the legal guardian of a teenage girl. Divorced, on my own business. It, it scares guys off. Well, you haven't scared me off yet. Not yet. <laughs> Amber is a great kid. Unfortunately, we're not really getting along that great lately. She got strapped with me when her parents died. And I uprooted her and moved her all the way out here. You know, I, uh, I moved around a lot when I was younger with my family. It can be tough. That's actually the first thing you've said about yourself. Uh, not a lot to tell, you know? I uh, got recruited to play soccer out of college. Helped win a few trophies. I'll lose a few. <laughs> After my injury, I decided to give coaching a shot. Here I am. Is that always what you wanted to do? Yeah. Soccer's been my whole life. How about you? I'm doing what I always wanted to do. Be my own boss. Run my own company. Very noble pursuit. When I took Amber in, I decided to move cross country and run my business hands-on with my partner. So here I am. Uh, it sounds like you're handling everything very well. I make a much better aunt than I do a mom. I'm worried. I'm worried that I'm just making things worse for her. She's smart, you know, and, and she's probably a lot more mature than you realize. I mean, these teenagers, they have coping skills on par with us. Maybe even better. I, I mean, for what it's worth, I think Amber seems extremely well adjusted. I hope so. Because at this rate, I may end up locking her in her room till she's 30. <laughs> <laughs> this was good. This was fun. We should, we should do it again sometime. Oh, young lunch. So next time, maybe some sort of a dinner? What, what about tomorrow night? Maybe eight-ish? I think I know a place with a great view. Sounds great. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Is everything OK? The uh, principal just texted me. Coach Hendricks has been sent to the hospital. Seems pretty serious. I should probably get back. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, so tomorrow night, then. Speak. All right. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I think. Hey. Did you get my text? I was thinking about hitting up the mall later. I, yeah. Sorry about that. I just have a lot of homework right now. I'm taking all AP classes. So is that a yes to the mall thing? <laughs> I'd love to, but I'm just swamped right now. Maybe another time? You bet. We'll do that. Hey, ladies. I have an announcement to make before we start. As I'm sure some of you probably heard, Coach Hendricks is in the hospital. She had an allergic reaction. She's in a coma. And we're not sure when she's going to come out of it. So, until she does recover, or they hire somebody else, I'm going to be running practice. Okay, so for today, let's uh, try to have a good one for Coach. All right? Yeah! Let's line up. Let's get some individual drills going. Music up there. Yeah. Thing I noticed in the game, you know, all the to okay, I noticed last week you were. Okay. You all right? Maddie? Oh, yep, oh, you all right? Hey, where's it hurt? Oh, my ankle. Oh, okay. You think you can put any pressure on it at all? Oh, let me try. <gasps> um, all right, I'm gonna, all right. No. No, I'm going to take a look at okay. it. Come on, let's get to your locker room. Yeah. Uh, ah, Amber, why don't you, you uh, have the girls pair up and do passing drills? Okay? All right, come on. Okay. Any pressure at all? Just like a little. Okay. Oh. This hurts. Yeah. Let's get you down here, okay? Okay. There you go. Oh. Ah. 
Sorry about that. It's all right. <laughs> so, how does that feel? It's a little tender. Well, you know, I uh, think you might have sprained it a little. It doesn't feel too swollen. I don't know. It just hurts. Your hands feel nice, though. You should keep doing that. I, uh, I shouldn't be in here. I think everyone will understand under these circumstances. Yeah, still, I, um, I, sh I should probably go. Anything I can get for you before I leave? Uh, maybe a, a, a cold pack or some ice? A cold pack. For the swelling? Right. Right. Yeah. You know, I, uh, I remember my first soccer injury. Actually, I broke my arm trying to block a goal. Mm -hmm. This day, I still don't know how I did it. I must have just fell on it wrong. Hurt like hell. I heard they could hear me screaming from the next town. How long were you out? Uh, six weeks. It was a clean break. I'll tell you what, though. When it happens to you, it doesn't matter. Found it. Maddie? What are you doing? Changing. Why? Maddie, come on. You need, you need to put your clothes back on. Have you never been in a room with a naked woman before? Not my students. No. Is there something wrong with me? No. Then I fail to see the problem. It's highly inappropriate, okay? Put it on. Dominic, I told you I'm good at keeping secrets. How about you? Maddie. I'm seeing someone. Who? It's none of your business. I'm I'm sorry. Um Coach Hendricks getting sick. Uh Mr. Frilly. Messed me up. I think my ankle's feeling better. Good. Okay, well, I should get back on the field then. Dominic, I, I am so sorry. I, I messed everything up. Go see a school nurse, okay? She was a great view. Nice dinner, too. Sushi and coffee. Can't beat that combo. <laughs> God, it is so quiet out here when there's nobody around. I'm still getting used to living out here. And why'd you move here? If you don't mind me asking. Honestly, I just wanted to get as far away as possible. From what? I don't know. Dealing with everything. Everywhere I'd look, I'd see the memory of my brother Frank. Or his wife, and... I just want to focus on work. I just thought if me and Amber could move out here, we could just... put everything behind us, you know? So, how are you guys getting along? She's probably at home now, thinking up new ways to hate me. <laughs> I think she's mad at me for talking to you. 
Uh, no, I get it. I can see how that could be weird for her. Is this weird? Me and you? No. I think this could be something wonderful. Say that again? I think that this could be something wonderful. Then, yeah. just wanted to make sure it wasn't just me. It's not just you. Someone thought you were going to be happier to see me. What are you doing here? Oh. I was the one that wrote the text message. You sent that message? Mm -hmm. Why would you pretend to be Amber just to get me out here? I want to know what you and Little Miss Buttercup were talking about at school today. Are you serious? You set this whole thing up just to ask me that? I didn't even see Amber today. I happen to be walking by while you two are having quite the conversation. And since we both know that she is way out of your league, I'm pretty sure you two weren't setting up your first date. You know what? You're right. Mm. I asked her out and she shot me down. <laughs> no, try again. That's it. I swear to God, Maddie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't bother yelling. I've been circling this park for an hour now. We're alone. Now I want to hear you say the correct answer, okay? And that is? Maddie, please stop. No, that's not the correct answer. Here, you know, here's the correct answer. You say, I was. I was. Warning. Warning. Amber. Amber. About you. Please, Maddie. Say about you. About you! <laughs> See, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> so you're not going to kill me? No. What? For talking to Amber? No. But I did know you were in my apartment today, and I just can't have you doing that. Oh. Good morning, I'm Andrade. This is Mato. We got called in from robbery homicide. Looks like we're in charge. 
Oh, he won't be here long. CSI just finished sweeping the park. Once the coroner gets here for the body, we'll be packing up. Mind if we take a look at the Vic? Yeah, you're yeah, my guess. Who reported this? A jogger. He found it around 6 this morning. He flipped out and called 911. All we know right now. You have any ID on him? Yeah, a driver's license. Kid's name is Riley Jones, 17 years old. His address is about three blocks from here, so he probably walked to this spot. Uh, no cash or credit cards in the wallet. Uh, could have been a mugging gone bad, except we found this in his hand. We'll have to have one of our computer guys look at this. I don't think the phone's locked. We tested it before we bagged it. Looks like the Vic was texting somebody before he died. Did you guys already photograph the scene? Yeah. You mind if I take a look at the body? Knock yourself out. Oh. Oh, okay. We got a single stab wound to the sternum. Probably bled out internally. And that's a hell of a way to go. Sounds consistent with the mugging, yeah? I know he's got no marks on his hands or arms. No defensive wounds. Kid looks like an athlete, right? So why didn't he try to defend himself? He got jumped? Nah. This happened right in front of him. So a mugger comes directly at you with a knife. You throw your hands out to protect yourself. Your hands get cut up. Nah. This guy knew his attacker. Well, CSI grabbed a bunch of hair samples off of him, too. They were in his hand like he pulled them out on his way down. It's going to take a while to test them out, though. Hey, Andrade, you might want to see this. He was waiting for somebody. Well, we got to get a search warrant for phone records. Mm -hmm. Pronto. Yeah. Boom. What's that? Terms from Saturn Bank Investment. No. <laughs> they had them delivered about 15 minutes ago. We officially have financing. We're still in business. <gasps> Where's everybody? I called a staff meeting. Oh, it's lunchtime. Everybody's out at lunch. Oh. The only reason why I'm here is because I'm the one who does real work. <laughs> Therefore unable to enjoy my delicious chicken parmesan from last night. Mm. <laughs> this is a joke, right? Nope. Four million dollars cash infusion, plus we retain controlling stock. I have to look it over with our lawyer, but the company saved. Indeed it is. Yes! <laughs> I just want you to know that I never lost faith in you, even when I was doing research for my unemployment benefits online. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Too bad everybody's gone. We need to celebrate. Yes. Hold on. Oh, let me guess. Calling Mr. Soccer Coach. <laughs> <laughs> Telling Gibson said, hey. Shh. <laughs> no answer? Hmm? He's probably out on the field. No big deal. No. But he was the first person you decided to call. It's no big deal. Oh, of course not. You guys have been out on, what, uh, two dates? Any sleepovers? None of your business. <laughs> <laughs> Call him again. It's definitely Riley Jones. It says it right here on my news feed. What is he doing in the park that late? I have no idea. Probably buying drugs. Excuse me. Damn it, Riley, I told you to leave me alone. Are you Amber Halligan? Yeah, that's me. I'm Detective Andrade from Robbery Homicide. I need you to come down to the precinct with us. Why? What's wrong? It's better if we discuss this somewhere else. I'm not going anywhere without my aunt. Sure. Why don't we call her? Have her meet us there. Thank both of you all for coming down today. What is this about? Um... We just have a few questions we'd like to ask you. A few things we need to clear up for an ongoing criminal investigation. Uh, and since you're a minor, we have to have a parent or your guardian present. Also, I'd like to inform you that we are going to record this. It, it, it's really just routine stuff. Doesn't sound like routine stuff. It sounds like you're about to arrest her for something. I want to call my lawyer before you go any further. Do you think she needs a lawyer? Depends what's going on here. Amber, do you know a young man named Riley Jones? Yes. I mean, we go to the same school and we have Saturday afternoon soccer practice together. It's not like we're friends or anything. His body was discovered this morning at the park downtown. He's dead. What does that have to do with Amber? Uh, we believe that uh, Mr. Jones was on his way to meet with Amber when he was killed. Killed? Amber, you sent him a text message. You asked him to meet you at the park at midnight last night. 
I don't even have his number. How do you know it was her? We believe somebody resembling your niece purchased a disposable phone for cash at around 5.30 yesterday. We have pictures. That's not me. Really? Same body type? Same hair color? Anyway, we assume that the person in this picture uh, sent Mr. Jones a text. And I'd like to read you the text. We need to talk about earlier. Meet me in the park at midnight. Amber. So at this point, we do believe that Mr. Jones met you in the park where he was killed. Stabbed and left to die. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I didn't send that message. She was at home in bed last night. Are you sure? I didn't check on her, but I'm relatively sure that she would not sneak out of the house. Amber, we spoke to a few of your classmates. And they said they saw you talking to Mr. Jones a few days ago in the same spot where we approached you, right outside the school. They said you were having a heated conversation. I liked him. I would never have hurt him. Apparently, something was so important for Mr. Jones to meet you late at night in the park. I didn't send that text message. I didn't kill Riley. She's not answering any more of your questions without a lawyer present. Miss Halligan, I don't think you understand the seriousness of... What's the ball? We need to talk. Excuse me for one minute. What is it? Cut her loose. Are you serious? The only thing we don't have is a murder weapon. We're probably just one search warrant away from that. The analysis of those hair fibers we found in the kid's hand. They're synthetic. So the murderer wore a wig. Yeah, and that's not all. We showed the Halligan girl's picture to the convenience store clerk. He says it wasn't her. Let's do a lineup. It wasn't her, Andrade. All we have is one blurred security camera image and her name in a text message. What about all the witnesses at school that we spoke to? So they saw the both of them arguing yesterday. They also said they saw him talk to four or five other girls around Amber's age yesterday. The Vic was a horny little teenage bastard. We got nothing. Well, we got our work cut out for us then. How so? It's not this Amber Halligan kid. It's probably somebody that's got it out for her. Are you going to talk to me about this? I think I deserve an explanation after I have to go down to the police station and damn near watch you get arrested for murder. They said I was free to go. That means I didn't do it, right? I think you're missing the point here. What is the point? That I might have embarrassed you or ruined your precious business? Because that's all you really care about. You know that's not true. I want to live with the Foster family. We're emancipate. No. I'm 17. I'm old enough. Your father was my brother. I loved him. He was my family. I loved your mother, too. I know what you're going through. I know you didn't want to move here, but I didn't have a choice. I'm doing the best I can for us. I don't have any experience being a mom to you. I'm at the end of my rope. Then let me go back to New York. I'm so tired. I'm tired of fighting with you. I'm tired of you always being angry with me and hating me because I'm the only person you have left to hate. But you and I, we don't have anybody else. This is it. You really want to go live alone? You want to spend the last year of your childhood in some foster family instead of for the person who actually loves you and wants to take care of you? Don't throw me away. I would never do that to you. I haven't seen you get upset since the funeral. I, I thought that I could... Put your mom and dad's death behind me, but I can't. Not yet. 
And you shouldn't either. I was wrong about that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's gonna be okay. Hey. Heard what happened. You guys okay? We will be. Are you sure you're okay to be here at school? I can drop you off at home or something. I think your aunt's right, Amber. I think you should take a little time off. No, I'd rather just keep my mind busy right now. Well, call me if you want to leave early, okay? Okay. I love you. Love you too. How about you? How are you holding up? Just lost a student. He's a good kid. I know. I'm sorry. do this. I didn't see anybody. Why are the police here? Excuse me for a minute. It's nothing. Why don't you go back to bed? As soon as you tell me what's going on. Uh, somebody threw a rock through the window. Are you serious? It was probably just one of the neighborhood kids. You're a terrible liar. I need you to go back to bed and stop worrying. You've been through enough stress the past couple days. Do you know who did it? Not yet, but... They just told me there's a patrol car in the neighborhood and they're keeping an eye on everything, so it's, it's fine. Just go back to bed. Please. Yeah, come on. Good night. Yeah, I see. Detective Morrow? That's right. Since when does a homicide detective investigate vandalism? My partner and I are still working on the Riley Jones case. The precinct called me as soon as your name came up. You, you think this has something to do with that boy being killed? It's too early to say. What do you know about this Dominique Antal? They're trying to reach him right now. Obviously, he's connected to this in some way. We've gone out a few times. Do you know if he has any ex-wives or ex-girlfriends who might still be in the picture? Ex-boyfriends, even? We didn't talk about his dating history. Well, do you know if he owes money to anybody? Maybe somebody who's not on the up and up. I don't understand this line of questioning. I'm going to level with you, Miss Halladin. Mr. Antall is the common denominator between you, your niece, and Riley Jones. Now, he's not the suspect here. But whoever is, is targeting people in his life, and specifically you and Amber. So once we have a chance to talk to him, we'll know more ourselves. I've tried to call him. He's not picking up his phone. Well, if you do get a hold of him, please tell him to call us. Maybe I should tell him to call a lawyer, too? He's not in any trouble here. Is he in danger? That I don't know. Hey, I heard the cops questioned you about Riley the other day. Everybody at school's talking about it. It's terrible. How could somebody do that to him? Just kill him in cold blood. Yeah, I'm trying not to think about it, okay? Hey, I think I have something that might take things off your mind. You know Camille Adams? Yeah. She's having a huge pool party this weekend. Her parents are out of town. She's gonna be a DJ, tons of hot guys, enough booze to drop a bull elephant. No, thanks. I can't even imagine partying right now. All right, everyone, listen up. So, uh... In light of the recent tragic events involving our good friend Riley, the school board has asked me to temporarily stop holding my clinic here in the park. What? It's okay. Like I said, it's only going to be temporary, just until this all gets sorted out. Now, I have all of your contact information. I'm going to reach out to you again as soon as we can meet here, okay? In the meantime, 
Try to enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Please, for my sake, especially for your own, be careful out there. Well, that's a bummer. Riley's dead, Maddie. You're acting like you don't even care. He's dead. Everybody needs to get over it. I'm not in a very good mood today. Hey, Coach, you're supposed to be my knight in shining armor. I got your text. I'm here. Yeah, looks like you've been drinking quite a bit. Yes, I have, Kimosabe. <laughs> I'm too drunk to drive. <laughs> you drove here? Um, I did. <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, hold on. I'm going to no, drink this Maddie, stuff. come on. You're underage. Who cares? I do. Okay, you asked me to come get you, and I did. The least you can do is not drink in front of me. All right? Let's go. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I need help. It's your building, right? Coach Dominic, do you take all your students home? <laughs> no, I don't. Let's not make a habit of this. You look so sad. Just lost a student. Riley? Are you kidding me? I have lost lots of people. Tons. People that mattered. I'd be sad if you died. <sighs> I would. But you're so sweet and like sexy. Okay. Mm. I've definitely been drinking. Come on. We're we're two consenting adults, coach. Yet only one of us is legally old enough to drink. Right? I want you to take it easy on the alcohol. Come on, coach. You're ruining my buzz. Tell you this as a friend. All right? Let's go upstairs. Get some sleep. You really are my knight in shining armor. <laughs> no gym shorts, whatever. Dominic, how about helping a girl into bed? How about I help you up the stairs to your apartment? No, you didn't hear me. I said into bed. I might need some help with my clothes. I heard you. Let's just pretend you didn't say it. I want you. And not just tonight. I want you every night. I want to crawl into your skin. Annie. No one's going to love you the way that I do. You don't even have to love me back. I can do it for the both of us. You have no idea how big and scary and wonderful the love I have inside of me is. Let me show you. No, I don't go home. Last chance. I can't be with you. 
No. No. No, 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 no. I chose you. I chose you, Dominic. You are mine. You belong to me. Stop it. Stop it. Okay? Calm down. I am so sorry. Just get out. Just go. Just go. Hey, look, I'm sorry. I know it's late. I just, I had to see you. What's going on? I've been trying to reach you all day. I know, it's just, things have been really messed up. First goes Hendrix, then Riley. Come in. We need to talk. Somebody threw a rock through my window last night. What? You guys okay? We're fine, but whoever threw it wrote a message on it. A message? Leave Dominic alone. The police came, but they don't have any clues. So who wants me to leave you alone? I don't know. <sighs> Madeline Sawyer. Who's Madeline Sawyer? She's a student of mine. She's been, uh, I don't know, making advances on me. I, I drove her home from a party tonight because she was drunk and I didn't want her to drive. And she got pretty crazy when I told her I couldn't be with her. If this is the girl who broke my window, you're going to have to tell the police everything you know. All right, we'll go down there first thing in the morning. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry everything's so crazy right now. It's okay. Hmm? Okay. What the hell happened? I just got here and I found it this way. I couldn't reach you at home, so I just figured you were on your way in. Somebody broke in, bypassed the alarm, and destroyed everything. Our server farm looks like somebody took a sledgehammer to it. That's hundreds of thousands of dollars just gone right there. It's going to take the insurance adjusters months to go through all of this mess. The website's gone, Kelly. You have backups though, right? It doesn't matter. No servers, no website. Whoever did this wanted to hit you where you live, Kelly. What did the cops say? I didn't call him yet. I was waiting on you. There's something else.
What does this mean? It's her. Her? This girl Dominic told me about last night. Madeline Sawyer. One of his students. He thinks she's the one that threw the rock through my window last night. So you're telling me somebody from high school broke in and wiped out our multi-million dollar business? Why would she do that? Because as long as I'm around, she thinks I'm in the way. In the way of what? Dominic. Kelly? Maddie, what are you doing? Well, that's an interesting question, Amber. See, a couple years ago, I lost my parents, just like you. But I didn't have an Aunt Kelly to take care of me. I was all alone. I don't follow. Perfect man. I've loved him ever since I was a little girl. Did you know that? I got into soccer because of him. My parents would always take me to go watch him play. <laughs> he was all I had left. I thought that, you know, maybe if he got to know me, he would fall in love with me. That makes sense, right? But then you and your aunt came into town, and... I tried. Amber. You know, no one knows the loss that I felt. Like you. That pain. And you would have been my best friend. And I would have had my man. And it would have been happily ever after. <laughs> But your bitch whore aunt had to come and take him away from me. She ruined everything. And now they're the police. They're gonna tell them about me. Penny, <laughs> <Honey>, please. <laughs> when you have lost everything in your life, everything you love, what do you have left? What is there left to live for? Nothing! Nothing! Hey, 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 if you ever do that again, I'm gonna make what I did to Riley look like a joke. What do you want? Well, I spent the entire morning ruining your aunt's career. Let's see what else I can take away from her. Kelly, hey, you wouldn't believe what just happened. I need you to listen very carefully. You were right. Madeline Sawyer is out to get me. She's out to get both of us. How do you know that? Let's just say it's not too far of a leap. 
She completely destroyed my office. She threw that rock through my window. She's probably to blame for, for setting Amber up for that little boy's death, too. She's on some kind of rampage or something. I, I don't know how far she's planning on going. Yeah. It's like she's been busy today because she just left me a love note on my car. I'm at the office right now. I need you to go to my house. I need to know Amber's safe. Okay. I will. I want you to call the cops. I'm going to do the same thing. She's home alone. Please. Just keep an eye on her till I can get there. I'll have the police meet us there. Okay. I'm on my way. Do you want me to come with you? Stay here. Lock the doors. Don't let anyone in unless it's the police. They're going to want to talk to you. I'm going to get this mess cleaned up. I promise you. Be careful. Okay. Amber? It's Dominic. Amber? Can you hear me? Why are you wearing that? You like Kelly in it last night. Hey! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 May, please. I'm the one you're angry at, not them. Let her go. No. No. Let's go somewhere. Okay? Just the two of us. gets here, I'm going to burn this house to the ground. <laughs> Maddie, please, listen to me. There's still time for you, for all of us to fix this, okay? Let's just go now. It's me and you, shut Maddie. Shut up. Shut up. Do you have any idea how much I love you? I have done everything, everything to show you how much I love you, and you just threw me away. Like trash. I would have done anything for you. I would die for you. I would kill and kill again for you. Maddie, Maddie, come with me now. Yeah, dear, you're touching her. Makes me want to cut your head off. We're ending this now. No more Kelly. And no more Amber. And no more you. Maddie, there is so much more for you if we could just get you the help that you need. We're all going to be ashes together. Isn't that fun? I can't wait. Are you okay? You okay? You hear that? 
You've done many. I call the police. They know everything. Go ahead. Do it. I deserve it. You deserve to live with it. All of it. Kelly. <laughs> okay, I've been very well behaved today. Not much shouting, no throwing things. I was proud of you. Yeah. I'm proud of you too. Me too. So should we go out for ice cream or pizza or something? What's the protocol for winning a soccer game? Uh, actually, I was gonna go hang out with my friends if that's okay. Oh, of course. Just be home by 10? Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Looks like she's finally starting to heal. Yeah, I think we all are. And I think we have a few hours alone. Maybe you can teach me some of your moves? Uh, sure. I don't know a lot about soccer, but I do know it's hands-free. At least until after the lesson. Yeah, just a quick one, then. Okay, well, that, that sounds good. Okay. I know. I read the recommendation as well. But, um... <laughs> there are... Other